A chaotic day at City Hall. Aldermen were met with a series of interruptions after a scheduled vote on a resolution calling for a ceasefire in Gaza was yet again delayed. CBS 2's Andrew Ramos was in the council chambers and he's now in the newsroom for us with more on what happened. Andrew? Well, Joe, demonstrators not only filled up the chamber today, but also made their presence known throughout City Hall, angered by the decision to push back this symbolic resolution vote that even sparked a contentious debate among aldermen. This was the scene in the lobby of City Hall as demonstrators were barred from entering after the chamber hit capacity. Those chants continued inside. The protests fueled by the decision to postpone a vote on a resolution that would have called for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza, as well as humanitarian assistance to be sent to the region. The vote itself was pushed back after 28 older persons signed a letter requesting the delay out of sensitivity to International Holocaust Remembrance Day, which happens this week. We don't do enough here as a council, as a city, to model the behavior we would want to see happening globally. Council proceedings were marred throughout the day where demonstrators targeted older people. At one point, leading Alderman Ray Lopez to ask Mayor Johnson to maintain decorum. Thank you. Please continue, Alderman Lopez. Are you going to maintain decorum, sir? I'm going to give you the opportunity to continue to Are you to going speak to maintain decorum, this. sir? Because I cannot continue. Decorum is interrupted. Seemingly addressing Alderman Lopez, Alderman Byron Sicho Lopez aligned himself with those demonstrators. And it's hard to maintain decorum. When we see these atrocities in front of our very eyes, let's make a commitment and we'll come back to this very floor so that we act on our words and not continue to pandering to our votes. Mayor Johnson, who made clear that he supports an immediate ceasefire, said the interruptions should not have happened. As much as I recognize that people should not disrupt, it should be respectful of all voices that are being heard, um, you know, democracy still prevailed today. And that's that's important. Now, it's important to know while the ceasefire resolution would be purely symbolic and have no binding authority, it would make Chicago the largest city in the country to pass such a measure. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Andrew Ramos, CBS 2 News. Andrew, thank you very much.